As Kelly mentioned just a moment ago, school is back in session for the state's largest school district, so she wanted to get a feel for how the first day went in the Alpine District, and that's why she is at Canyon View High, Junior High School in Orem this afternoon. Kelly. Bob, Junior High School, that's right. Do you remember your first day of school? Think back, exciting, maybe also a little stressful. Maybe you were a little nervous. Let me bring in David Stevenson. He's the spokesperson with the Alpine School District. All of those feelings coming back for parents and students, but teachers have to be in on the first day jitters as well. How are teachers responding after such an unusual academic school year last year, David? You know, just thank you, first of all, for um, highlighting Alpine School District today uh, on our first day, but definitely a shout out to our teachers. They've worked throughout the summer. Um, our elementary teachers are going through training for literacy to learn new ways to um, just meet the needs of our students. And we just love our teachers and appreciate all they're doing to make this happen on this first day first of school. First day, hometown heroes, our teachers, definitely. There's been a lot of talk, of course, on masks. Wear them, not wear them, what's best, what's safest for our students. Alpine School District does not have a mask mandate for the start of the academic school year. What has the response been from parents and how students are reacting to this change? Yeah, you know, obviously there are many people on both sides of the mask issue and and obviously we want to encourage mask wearing by those who want to wear the, the masks. But as you know, there's not a mask mandate throughout the state and so we're respecting the rights of, of parents to make that choice. All right, big choices, absolutely. David Stevenson with the Alpine School District, thank you so much. And again, thank you to all the teachers who are working so hard important big job educating our future. Bob, 86 schools within the Alpine School District. So there are thousands of students today. I know many Utah students returned yesterday as well. So those back to school supply checklists and syllabuses certainly being signed tonight.